In this video, I've got a couple of Amazon affiliate WordPress plugins that I'm gonna be sharing with you. And these plugins make it really easy to pull down data from Amazon and insert it into your content, things like product images and product descriptions, and even uh, product reviews and pricing information. If you're running an Amazon affiliate website, then you probably know that the tools that Amazon give you as an affiliate, well, they're not that great. Uh, they give you basically the site stripe toolbar that allows you just to insert basic text links and you can insert images using it as well, but they never look quite right. You're limited to free sizes. And if you wanna do something like a table, well, that can be a complete nightmare. So two plugins that I'm gonna be sharing with you today aim to fix all that and make it a lot easier. I've got the plugin AAWP or WAP, could be one way of saying it. And I've also got Amalinx Pro. Now they're both premium products, so you do need to pay for them. And I will say that they both work best if you've got access to the Amazon API. In order to get access to the Amazon API, you do need to have made at least free sales within your Amazon affiliate account. And once you've done that, you should be able to find your Amazon keys by going into the tools section within your affiliate dashboard. If you don't currently have access to the Amazon API, fear not, Amalinx Pro does have a no API feature which I'll be showing you in this video as well. So in this video, you can expect an overview of both products, the features that they have, and I'm also gonna give you my opinion on which one I think is best and which one I'm gonna be using on my Amazon affiliate website, bestroofbox.com, as we go forward. By the way, if you've not been following my adventures with my Amazon affiliate website, do check out the playlist that's appeared up there. It's full of videos all around the website, including the first one, which is where I create the site. And then since then, I've been posting videos every couple of weeks on everything that I've been doing to the site, all of the traffic it's been getting, and of course, all of the money that it's been making. One other last thing before we jump into this video, if you're new here, why not subscribe? You can do so by clicking on the button below. Be sure to click that bell to be notified when I upload new videos. I try and do one every single week. Anyway, I think that's enough intro. Let's jump in and see what these plugins can do. Let's go. Okay, so let me give you some details about the two plugins. And by the way, you'll find links to both of the plugins in the description. They are affiliate links, so I really appreciate it if you choose to use them and buy one of the plugins. I will earn a small commission. Really appreciate it, and it really helps me out. So let me start with AAWP or AWP, maybe, or I don't know, there could be some other way of saying it, AWP. I don't know. And this plugin is the cheaper of the two. I'm gonna be giving pricing for a single site license, by the way. And yeah, AWP or AAWP comes in at just $39 for a single site license. Now this plugin does require the API. So if you are thinking of going for this one, you will need an API key. It doesn't currently have a no API feature, unlike Amalinx Pro, which does. So Amalinx Pro, which I say does have a no API feature, is a bit more expensive. This one comes in at $69 for a single site license. Um, there is a cheaper one available, but that license doesn't actually include the table builder, which is uh, quite an important part, I think, because a lot of you are gonna be wanting to insert product tables into your content. And in order for me to kind of compare them like for like, because AAWP does have tables, I thought I'd kind of exclude that license from this video. So the kind of minimum license you're gonna need is a single site one, which does come with a table builder. And yeah, that comes in at $69. A couple of other top line features. AAWP does have a couple of Elementor widgets. So if you're using Elementor, you might like to use them, although they are a bit limited and you'll probably end up using the short codes instead anyway. Amalinx Pro doesn't have any Elementor widgets, but it does have some Gutenberg blocks, which AAWP doesn't have. So if you're using Gutenberg, then you might like this one. But basically they both really kind of depend on short codes. And a short code, for those of you that don't know, is just basically a little bit of text, kind of a little bit of code really that you just copy and paste into your content uh, wherever you wanna show whatever it is you wanna show. So it could be an image, it could be a product, it could be a table. Just copy this little bit of code, you then paste it in and poof, it appears um, on the page. So yeah, the fact that either one doesn't even have Elementor or doesn't have Gutenberg is probably not such a big issue. One other feature that I really like with Amalinx Pro that AAWP doesn't have is the add to cart feature. So if you turn that on, uh, when someone actually clicks on a product on your site or clicks on one of your links or clicks on one of your table links and goes over to Amazon, 
that product will automatically be added to their Amazon cart. Uh, a bit like Woozone, if you've ever seen that. Now, the benefit to this is that that then gives them a 90 day cookie. So you've got a much better chance of getting some commission because then if they make a purchase, uh, you know, any time within that 90 days, you will get paid out. Whereas the standard Amazon links, I think are just a 24 hour cookie. So, you know, someone has to really kind of click buy uh, the very same day in order for you to get your commission. Other than that, the features are, are pretty much the same. They all allow you to insert tables, insert products, insert images and insert text links. Um, and I'll be going into a little bit more detail on all of those. So yeah, that's the top line there. There's a few little differences when it comes to features. Um, so you really just have to think about how that fits in with how you work and how your WordPress website is set up. One other point that I should just say is that they both support different regions of Amazon uh, and indeed multiple regions. So if you're set up as an affiliate on amazon.com, and amazon.co.uk and maybe some other Amazon regions, they both will try and redirect your visitors to the correct Amazon site so that you get your commission. So let's have a look at the product insertion from both these plugins. That's probably gonna be the, the main area that you're gonna use them for. So let's start with AAWP first. I said, you're probably gonna insert them with short codes, but there is an elemental widget if you want to use that, but the short code gives you much more flexibility. So you basically paste the short code in with the ASIN number, which is uh, the number you just grab off the Amazon product page. And it displays a lovely product as you can see right now, and it pulls in some information which you can change. You can customize those bullet points to fit your needs. It pulls in the price, it adds a lovely buy now button. And you can insert multiple products using the short code, just separate the ASINs with a comma within the short code and it will generate a nice list of products for you. It's really easy to customize. There's a few different themes uh, in terms of look and feel. And as I say, you can customize the text and the title if you want to. The Amalinx one, which I'll put up right now, is also very similar. It's got a slightly different look and feel, but you know, not too much between them. And again, um, it's probably easier to add them with a short code, but there is a Gutenberg block as well if you, if you want to dump it that way. And again, you just need to put the ASIN in or the ASIN, basically the product number from Amazon, drop that in and it will, will pull the information down for you. For this feature to work, you do need the um, product API, the Amazon product API. Uh, it won't work with the no API feature of this plugin. That really is kind of limited and just allows you to pull in images uh, and that kind of thing. Um, to pull in one of these really rich boxes with all the information, you do need access to the API. A couple of features that AAWP have got over Amalix Pro when it comes to products are things like the best sellers list. So you can simply just type in a search term. For example, for me, it would be roof boxes and it will generate a lovely list of Amazon products that are indeed the best selling roof boxes on Amazon. But of course it could be whatever you like. You just simply type in a couple of keywords and it will generate this lovely best sellers list. You can also do this for new products and it's also got a sidebar widget or indeed a header widget or footer widget, wherever you like to put the widgets that does the same thing. So you can pull in your best sellers into your sidebar. And in fact, I'm gonna replace the sidebar widget that I'm currently using to do that, which was something that I knocked together manually with this widget, because I think it looks really good and it includes pricing and buttons. And of course it will update itself um, dynamically using the product API. Unfortunately, Amalinx Pro doesn't appear to have this feature unless I'm missing something, but yeah, I couldn't see an easy way to generate a bestseller list using Amalinx Pro. So let's move on to the product tables that you can create with these plugins. I think tables are a great way to add products uh, to your content, a really clear way of laying stuff out, allows people to easily see the products that you're promoting within your content and make a buying decision based on you know whatever information you're gonna give them. Now I have been using tables within my content. Here you go, I take a look. Now these tables that I've been using have been generated using the Elementor plugin UAE or Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor and yeah, they look really good. I mean, they have their problems. They're not that responsive and they can be quite tricky to build because you have to kind of do it manually, copying and pasting information into them. So both of these plugins promise to reduce that workload by allowing you to easily create tables of products using the Amazon API. Although Amalinx Pro does have a no API feature, which I think we'll look at first. Let's get that out of the way. So you can see it on the screen now and it's a bit clunky if I'm honest basically it involves you copying and pasting code from your site stripe into this table and then adding some text and, and basically going from there. But yeah, it works and you can put tables together 
and you can pull in the images and they're all compliant and everything with Amazon because they use the site stripe and yeah, it works. And then it creates this really long short code that it dumps into Gutenberg and yeah, the table looks decent. However, both these plugins really come into their own when you do have access to the API because it makes it really easy then to create these tables because you can just look products up again using the product ASIN, basically the product number on Amazon. And it just pulls in all the information that you need. It pulls down uh, titles and descriptions and prices and images, and then you can tweak it and edit it as you see fit. Let's have a look at the AAWP table first. I really like this um, look and feel. I think they look really nice and professional. They work well on mobiles and on tablets, and they're really easy to customize. So you can basically just pull in the product information, uh, whichever products you want, you can reorder them. You can highlight um, certain columns and rows. You can add your own text, which is obviously quite important. So maybe you want to add a product verdict or a review or something like that. You can easily drop that in. So you can create a table, which is a mix of information from Amazon and your own stuff. And yeah, I think the end result just looks really good, uh, especially when you start highlighting columns and, and picking out products. It just makes it really clear for your visitors which product you're recommending. So let's take a look at the Amalinks Pro product table. You can see, again, it's a nice looking table. Now this one didn't appear to work so well on a phone, which is a little bit of a problem. It kind of cut a few of the um, columns out. And there's not as many options that you can customize. I mean, you can add like a little uh, flash and you can kind of highlight uh, products if you want, but you can't really change the colors so much. And yeah, it just didn't seem to have as much customization features as AAWP, but still, yeah, nice looking table. And again, it works really well with the product API. You just do a search um, within um, the plugin and then it looks up the products on Amazon and you select which ones you want, drop them into the table. You can edit them and change the descriptions, whatever you like. And yeah, there you go. You get a lovely table. But yeah, I'm, I'm drawn towards AAWP when it comes to tables. I think they look better. I think they look sharper. And of course, they, they do work on uh, mobile phones and stuff like that, which is, is really important uh, nowadays because, you know, at least half of your traffic is probably coming from a phone. So you, you know, you want to make sure that your table looks good for them as well as your desktop visitors. So in summary, going forward, I think I'm going to be using AAWP on bestroofbox.com. I mean, I do have access to the products advertising API with Amazon. So that makes it easier and obviously makes that an option. If you don't have access to the product advertising API, then yeah, consider Amalinks Pro. I think the table builder, although it is a little bit clunky, a little bit long winded, the outputs are good and it's, you know, one way of putting a table together instead of just kind of doing it manually, which I have been doing, you know, using Elementor or, or something like that. Maybe the 90 day cookie feature with Amalinks Pro might be swinging it for you. But yeah, personally going forward, I'm going to be using AAWP on bestroofbox.com. I really like the tables. I really like the sidebar widget for the best sellers and for the new in products. I think that looks really nice. And yeah, I was just really impressed and, and it's cheaper than Amalinks Pro. So I think going forward, yeah, I'm going to be using AAWP. One last thing I should say is that both of these plugins um, are 100% compliant with the Amazon affiliate or the Amazon Associates terms and conditions. You know, we know what they're like in terms of uh, if you upset them in any way, they kick you out of the program. But yeah, both of these plugins are 100% compliant. They do both have a disclaimer that they add when they're pulling in information from the API, a little line underneath the table or underneath the product, which is, is really important. And in fact, I think on AAWP, there's an option to turn that off, but I would recommend that you keep it turned on, you know, just keep Amazon happy uh, as best as you possibly can, and then you'll be fine. So that brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully I've helped you with um, that decision in terms of choosing one of these plugins. As I said at the beginning, you'll find links in the description. They are affiliate links if you are gonna make a purchase Really appreciate if you use those links. And why not let me know in the comments if you're using any plugins to help you pull information in from Amazon. Maybe you're using AAWP, or maybe you're using Amalinks Pro, or maybe you're using something else. Let me know in the comments. I do read all the comments that I get, and I will try my best to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not already subscribed, you can do so by clicking on my face up there. Why not check out my vlog channel? Click on my face up there. And there are a couple more videos chosen especially for you. So I hope you enjoy them. Till next time, bye for now.